Salam alaikum from wherever you're watching us from. This is Sana Namitinda with me, Isaac Barak Odara. And yes, today we continue the series of fashion and design. This is one amazing series that I have enjoyed hosting here on Wema TV every Wednesday at 8 p.m. You can't afford to miss any show here on Wema TV. So let's dive in. This is an amazing designer. Uh, she has dressed some of the best uh, MCs we have around and some of the lecturers we have around in the many universities. So let's dive in and get to know her. Karibu sana kwa show. Yes. So maybe someone is watching the show for the very first time. Sijasema jina yako. Nataka uji introduce officially. You should just give us your name and what you do. Okay, well, I'm Joyce Auma. The CEO and the founder of Joyma Collections and I'm a mother. Amazing. Joyce, Kwanzaa before to endele, you look amazing. You. Where I love your outfit, Kutoka Ju Adichini. <laughs> you look really amazing. So Ata Kwanza Tongale outfit to Meva Leo. How long did it take you to do this outfit and when did you do it? I did this outfit tonight. Like Jana Usiku? Yes. What? I had three ideas, uh -huh. but uh, I decided to do this one. Okay, so what is this design called? It's a mixed modern Ankara. Uh -huh. sure. Mixed modern Ankara. Yeah. It really it's looks amazing. Uh -huh. Full Ankara. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I blend it a, a little bit to, to give up the modern culture. Okay, nice. But this is beautiful. I can, I can have my girlfriend wear this like every single day. <laughs> It looks really good. So you can tell us about yourself. Where did you grow up and where did this passion of fashion start? You can tell us that where you went to primary, high school. Yeah. Okay, I grew up in Kisumu. Mm -hmm. In Kobura Primary School. Uh -huh. And secondary, I went to Gilgil. Mm -hmm. uh, Coulson Girls. Mm -hmm. After Coulson Girls, I went to St. Paul's University. Ebushkilia. How was life like in primary and high school? Did you always know you are artistic and you are creative? Yes. Yes. I used to know because I can remember uh -huh. when I was young, uh -huh. my mom and the Nunulia dress. Uh -huh. But I could take it to the tailor uh -huh. and do it for me. Okay. Yeah, that I started in uh, around class 8. Ukiwa okay, class 8. Yes. Okay. So, you like things a specific way. Yes, I was so, specific. You are very specific. Yes. What about high school? In high school, okay, to make it funny enough, uh -huh. in high school we used to wear home clothes. Oh my God, which school is this? Coulson, girls. Oh my God, my child needs to go to that school, okay. Yes. So you used to wear home clothes. Yeah, after Kila classes. Yes. After classes? Yes, we used to have freedom. Uh -huh. So after classes you can wear anything that you want, provided it's decent. Okay. Yes. Nice. So that's where my passion started, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because I could... See girls in different styles, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So after that, mm -hmm. when I, I was in uh, campus, mm -hmm. I used to wear my my designs. Which campus is this? Saint Paul's. Saint Paul's University. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. And they were very strict. Yes. On dressing code mm -hmm. because they could not allow us to wear tights, mm -hmm. like torn trousers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I was there, mm -hmm. because we got in a katazo, we mm -hmm. wear tights. Mm -hmm. you know, as ladies with tights. Yes. So I decided to do chiffon on top of the tight. Okay. So that's where I like people decided people started knowing that I have passion. Uh -huh, for designing. Yeah. Okay. So even in campo ulikona design ya watu nguo. Yes. What were you studying in campo? I was doing business management. Okay, business management and fashion. Yes. <laughs> so how was it? Because in business, uh -huh. there is a, a unit called entrepreneurship. Okay. And one of our lecturers, mm. I can remember, mm. I was going to I will you to class, you do something that can bring you something. Yes, so nice. So that you, I will show you our Baba. Our Baba's. Nice. I decided to do outfits. Maybe I sell, uh -huh. I sell them the designs. I, uh -huh. I just uh, draw uh -huh. and I give them the idea. Wow. Because wow. I didn't have a shop. Okay. 
So look as in did you did you start did you have machines did you have a, a, a as in how were you going about designing your own outfits At, at first I didn't mm. have anything Okay so I could just draw mm -hmm. then I give them Okay I sell to them Una oh, una una chora ideas alafu una peana Yes Okay Weddings. Okay. At first, I didn't have the idea to maybe start a, a, a maybe my shop or something. Mm -hmm. So I, I could draw mm -hmm. and I sell to them. Wow, wow, this is amazing. So after campus, what next? Ulimalizia campus St. Paul's. No. Okay. I moved to Moi. Okay, Moi University. Yes. Okay, still studying business. Yes, but bachelor's in business science. Okay. Yes. Mm. So when I moved to Moi, mm. I decided to take a break. Okay. And to do fashion. Mm -hmm. And take it as a career. Mm -hmm. That was in 2017. 2017. Yes. Okay. So 2017, 18, 19, I've been doing fashion. Okay. Yes, so I decided to take it uh, serious. Mm -hmm. Because it's pain. It pays. Yeah. Did you drop your career? In no, business, no. Uli Maliza, Uli graduate. Um, third year. Uli at third I'm still. Oh, you're still in school. Yeah. Okay. But part time. Part time. Yes. Okay, but sasa Uli are more focus more on the fashion beat rather than the academic beat. Yes, but I'm um, doing it part time. Okay, part time. But okay. Business is full time. Bus business, yako ni full time. Yes. Okay, so after campus. You focused on, be, on on your fashion house. What is the name of the fa your fashion house? Joyma Collection. Joyma Collections. Yes. So to kiku tafuta pale social media to takupata na kazi zako. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's talk about some of the outfits you have done. Which is one of those outfits which you did uh, or maybe uh, that person you dressed that you can never forget? Wow. Yes. Uh, I did a dress for Grace Ekirapa. Oh my God, I know her. She's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Actually, she's the one, one dress that has been selling so far. Wow. It's a dress. Mm. It, every year, it mm. can't change. Mm. Yeah. Like, it's, uh, how can I put it? Mm. That one dress mm. that is versatile to mm. any, any, any body, mm -hmm. any edge, mm. any color. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you, you have done various colors from the same dress. Yes. Did you design it from scratch or how was it? Yes, it's my, I designed it from scratch. Okay. Okay, so you love designing and coming up with new outfits. Outfits that people can't copy. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, how much do you charge an outfit? Now that that dress was worn by Grace Ekirapa, unafanya ni yogope. Unafanya ni yogope, maybe bei yako inafika huko ma 20 giri. Uh -huh. How do you charge, normally charge for your I dresses? I normally charge the dresses as per the material, mm -hmm. the material mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, it's, if you want it... Uh, like Araka, mm -hmm. I will charge you express. Okay. Maybe if you have an, an event tomorrow mm -hmm. and you want the dress to be ready by today, mm -hmm. I'll charge you extra mm -hmm. for express because I'll have to ruka some people. And your umtengeneze yes. outfit. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So um, let me ask this. I have loved your work and we'll be showcasing some of the photos of some of the work you're doing because your work is amazing, amazing, amazing. Where do you see yourself in the next five years and what are you planning to do as far as fashion is concerned? I'm going to be the biggest brand in mm -hmm. Kenya and in the world. Wow. Yes. Wow. I'm, I, I'm planning on of, of starting an outlet in every, in every town. Mm -hmm. That is uh, roughly by... I, maybe three years time. In three years time. Yes. At least you'll have an outlet yes. in every single town. Yes, if, if not in every single town, but at least in our major towns. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you run your business at Atorodi Apple? Because there's one thing about ethics and business. And I, 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 I am excited about the fact that you have also learned the business side of uh, fashion. Uh, and entrepreneurship. So how do you run your business? Is it a one-man 
game do you have guys you have employed in your business or how do you do how do you operate your business it's not a one man game mm -hmm. we are a team mm -hmm. i have a team of like three tailors wow yes. mm -hmm. so i come up with the design mm -hmm. we share mm -hmm. then uh, we make the outfits wow so all you do uh, you, it's not a one man game you yes. have employed other people to be able to well, so basically, are they, are they elderly? Are they young people? What kind of people have you employed? Normally, I mix. Mm -hmm. uh, I like working with people who have experience mm -hmm. more than I do. Okay. Then uh, even younger people mm -hmm. share the ideas. Mm -hmm. If we mix, like both of us, we come up with a good idea. Mm -hmm. Because even we have uh, people who are, in, who are interns. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me ask you this. Most of the people, we are in, currently in a generation whereby people want things chap chap. Microwave generation. Uh, because I have seen Joyce design amazing outfits, I just want to also rush and also start designing eh, and selling outfits and making money. What's your take on that? And maybe what would you advise someone who wants to enter into the space of fashion yeah. and maybe does not appreciate the process of becoming a global designer? Yeah, I believe, I'm a true believer that success is a process. Mm -hmm. It's a steps. Mm -hmm. you, ca you can't run, you have to walk step by step. Mm -hmm. So, co and consistency. Mm -hmm. You have to be consistent. You yes. have to know your brand. Mm -hmm. You have to go to, to people. Mm -hmm. People can't know your brand when you are seated in the house. Mm -hmm. You have to go outside there, mm -hmm. talk to people. And you trust in God. Mm. Everything, every process that you put in in, in uh, God's hand, mm. it will become a success. Wow. Where do you sell your outfits normally? And how do you go about selling your outfits and getting more clients? Amazingly, mm. I, mostly I get my clients through online. Okay. Like recently, mm. I was working on an outfit that was going to the US for mm. a fashion show. Eish. Mm -hmm. yes. So you have done, you get most of your clients on social media. Yes. So, uh -huh. And I make sure I'm transparent mm -hmm. and trustable. Okay. Yes. Where do you, uh, uh, what's your plan as far as fashion is concerned? Because normally I have friends or other guests who we have brought here on this show who have had uh, fashion shows and runways where they have models and all that is that something that you're considering to do in the in the in the in the coming future i've done uh, fashion shows before okay the jw fashion show okay and i think that's the only platform that opened my mind wow when it's come to fashion mm -hmm. and when it's come to being courageous mm -hmm. And marketing myself. Okay. Yes. So basically, you have also been part of fashion runways and all that. Yes. Wow. 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 I can't wait to see some of your work, uh, some of more of your work in the coming future. Uh, but do you also do male outfits? Because we have talked about mostly ladies' outfits, and I love your work. Will be showcasing the photos. Do you also do male outfits for guys? Yes, I do. Okay. The problem with male, mm. they don't send photos. Okay, yes. so kiwa shonea hawa tu mi picha zene. Or if eh. they will refer, they, they prefer, eh. they rather do a referral okay. than sending photos. Okay. Yes, but I do everything. I do menswear, blazers, eh. ankaras. I do everything. When it's come to fashion, I do both ladies and gents. Gents. Eh. I do weddings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do parties. Mm. Mm. I, I guess I am volunteering to be part of the <laughs> models in your company. If you're looking for models, I am volunteering. Kama sawa, ataki kupigwa picha bana. Mini koredi, intakuwa napiga picha natuma. We'll talk after the show so that you can see how I can also be dressed by your fashion house. Normally, unachajingi aje outfit za majama. Jama? Mm. Making uh, like gents outfits, it's uh, kind of tricky. Okay. So it depends mm. from 4,000. From 4,000. Yeah. Okay. Have the senator suits from 35. Mm -hmm. Blazers. That's a full suit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 35. Now, for men, it depends on quality. Mm -hmm. Because most men prefer a good quality that will last. Mm -hmm. 
Because a man can make one stretch in mm. one man mm -hmm. compared to ladies. We have like different events. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so from thirty five you can have something. I can have something which looks good. Yeah, okay. Okay. What that funny pop quiz? Nimekuliza maswali mingi. At least to relax. Sindi yo? Yes. So pop quiz ni maswali. Raisi, raisi. Just about yourself. Okay. Are you ready for the pop quiz? Yes. <laughs> Number one. Uh, what was your favorite subject in high school? Business. Business studies. Yes. Who was your teacher or business studies? I believe if that was your favorite subject, tuleza kumbuka jina yake. Cipros na Fula. Yeah. Big up, Mwalimo. Cipros na Fula. Your student is here. Amazing, amazing. Number two. What was the nickname of your high school? High school. Eh. Mtoto wa DJ. Mtoto wa? DJ. Mtoto wa DJ. Yeah. That was the nickname of your high school? Oh, my high school. Yes, school yes. School G. School G. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So, big up school G. The motto of the high school? <laughs> okay, so as I always Number two, uh, there was a greeting. Maybe Hauku Kiswahili was not your favorite subject. There was a greeting in high school. Nataka uh, Jibio, your greeting. Sabal Harry. Kiswahili symptom, Cheko Yawa. <laughs> so Sabalkeri is a greeting which is responded as Aheri. It's an evening oh, greeting. Yes, you can remember Nimekurudisha High School. Okay. Number three, what is your favorite food? What do you love eating? Ugali and omena. Ugali and omena. Ukipe ugali and omena ukosawa. Anytime. Anytime, any day. Yes. Amazing. Number three, uh, what do you do for fun and what do you love doing? Hiking. Hiking. Yes. Ukipe, ukienda hiking, you're good. Anything outdoor, I'm good. Which is the last place you went hiking or outdoor? Gong, Gong Hills. Gong Hills. You enjoyed it. So, una rifa watu waende uko? Yes. Nice, 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 nice. Favorite book? Favorite book. Yes. Apart from the Bible, uh -huh. how to, there's a book uh -huh. written by John Cassidy. Uh -huh. How to become rich. How to become rich. Yes. Basically, you want to become rich. <laughs> that is a dream of everyone. Thank you. We are done with the pop quiz. I have enjoyed having you. This conversation has been amazing, amazing, amazing. I can't wait to see you in the next few years so that we can be able to see more of your work. So where can we find you on social media? On Facebook, it's Joyma Collection. Joyma Collections. On Instagram, it's Joyma Collection. Mm -hmm. TikTok, not yet. Mm-hmm. Unafa ku join. Mm. Join ma. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number, number yako ya simu uneza tupea. Just in case mutu wame watch na kuzileza. Me, I just want to talk to her directly. Your direct line ya kampuni enyo. It's 0707 mm -hmm. 45 mm -hmm. 458 761 761. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to the show. The last parting shot. Give us a parting shot. You can look directly to the camera and give us a parting shot. Maybe encourage someone who is trying to start something and maybe anafila na ugopa maha wezi. Yes, you can tell them. Okay, I would say mm -hmm. everything you do, you want to do, put God first. Mm -hmm. Have the consistency. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Go to people, talk mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. and market yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what I can Amazing. Tuma salamu. Tuma lize na iyo. Kuna tuma salamu kwa my lovely mother. She's a single mom. Mm -hmm. I'm to raise. Wow. From as low as 11 years. Wow. Wow. Yes. Mm. Perez Atieno mm. Ojango. Mm. And my grandmother. Mm. Yes. Anaitwa nani? Anaitwa um, Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, and my two lovely boys, Howie wow. and Gweth. Howie and Gweth. Yes. Gweth is a local word meaning Baraka. Yes. Amazing, amazing. I have enjoyed having this conversation with you. And thank you so much. I can't wait to have you and also see what uh, you are, the future holds for you. And you're gifted. Thank you.
Bana, you're going far. May God give you grace. Thank you too, and may God bless the whole of your team. Thank you so much. So that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo. We are doing the series on fashion and design. We still have one more episode to go. So stay put and keep on watching Sanana Mitindo. I have enjoyed hosting Joyma here on my show. And I can't wait to see you on another show. Make sure you comment. Make sure you share this show to your friends and recommend this show to some of the friends who will be watching. I have been your boy, Isaac Barak Odera. See you next time here on Wema TV.